Hi there, I'm James Preston and thanks for tuning in to Kalkine Media. GameStop, Dogecoin, even film and television powerhouse AMC Entertainment have all been labelled as meme stocks. But how does a meme stock actually work? Before I let you know, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to be notified of the latest videos from Kalkine. Meme stocks, where ridiculous names and unusual surges are all part of the game. They've become an increasingly present aspect of the stock market so far in 2021. Stocks of a company that experience wild upswings in its trade of volume, not on the basis of the company's performance, but rather more because of hype generated on social media platforms like Reddit and Twitter, are known as meme stocks. Since the stocks are disconnected from fundamental drivers, they become overheated in a very short span of time. This heat is generated by retail investors who have in the recent past increased their footprint in the equity markets across the globe. So let's have a look at some recent examples of meme stocks. GameStop Corp and AMC Entertainment Holdings are two prominent recent examples. Both companies presented rather poor financials and a less than stellar outlook and yet driven by Reddit day traders and the subreddit Wall Street Bets, GameStop shares rose 15 times their initial worth this year, whilst AMC shares jumped an incredible 26 times their value. Meme stock prices are driven by online conversations rather than any fundamental analysts. In the vein of internet virality, movements for certain stocks begin randomly and evolve rapidly, creating enormous price hikes. Usually, these spikes are followed by a crash in stock prices as the fundamentals continue to remain weak. A meme stock cycle can be divided into four different phases. Early adopter, middle phase, fear of missing out or FOMO, and profit booking. At the initial stage, a small group of investors who think that a particular stock is undervalued start buying the stock in large quantities, leading to its price increasing gradually. After this stage, People who are paying attention to markets observe a visible change in the volume of the stocks being traded. They also start buying, causing the stock price to skyrocket. This is when social media comes into the picture. As people start talking about that stock on social media platforms, word about the stock spreads. With the fear of missing out, on a massive rally, more and more retail investors join the show, catapulting the stock price to even more wild highs. As investors start buying left, right and centre, the volumes start peaking. This is when early investors see an opportunity and start cashing out. Just like the buying phase, the selling phase has a domino effect as investors look to consolidate and prevent losses. This is when prices crash. As a result of this cycle, early adopters enjoy handsome returns. Middle phases also make decent money, but FOMO investors will be lucky to avoid significant losses. So what does this all mean for investors? Since meme stocks offer quick returns, retail investing is increasingly becoming an interesting space. However, the increase in retail trading activity was glaring enough to prompt the US Securities Exchange Commission, also known as the SEC, to issue an investor alert, warning investors of the risk of investing in a hot stock or short-term investing based on social media. So whilst there are potential rewards on offer utilising meme stocks as a short-term investing or day trading tool, long-term investment remains an inherently difficult and highly risky prospect. Perhaps the best advice I can give you is, go follow Elon Musk on Twitter. But I can't repeat his most recent stock of interest though. If you've enjoyed the information in this video, then make sure to like, share and comment on the video and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to be notified of the latest videos. For more information and regular updates, please head to the website calkinemedia.com. I'm James Preston for Calkine Media.